in this problem, it, it's asking us to find the zeros of the function. So if you remember what the zeros of the function are, that is going to be when our function is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to want to find what the values of x are when our function equals zero. So what we're first going to want to do is substitute in a zero for our f of x. Zero equals 9x to the fourth minus 25x squared. Now we have a little bit of a problem here because we have an x to the fourth and we have an x squared. So we simply just can't isolate our variable and solve for x. Um, but what we can do is we can look to see if we can get this as a pair of linear factors. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to look at is see what I can factor out of the problem. And as looking at this, 9 and 25, they don't have any numbers in common. Um, but what I do look at is I say, well, I can factor out an x squared out of both of those. So if I factor out an x squared, you can do uh, x squared would be 9, x squared minus So now what I can say is, well, now I can say either x squared equals 0 or x, 9x squared minus 25 equals 0 because if these are multiplied by each other and when they're multiplied by each other equals 0, one of these has to equal 0. The way I like to always represent it is if x, y equals 0, either x or y is 0. Same thing. These are just you know, a little bit more difficult expressions. So we can say x squared equals 0. Well, obviously x squared equals 0. Take the square root x is equal to 0, or we can say 9x squared minus 25 equals 0. And here we just have a little bit of math, add my 25 on both sides, 9x squared equals 25, divide by 9, then I take the square root, so I'm left with plus or minus uh, five-thirds. So just make sure when you take the square root, you have their plus or minus, but then you're going to have uh, the square root of 25 is 5, square root of 9 is going to be 3. So therefore, your values, your possible values for your zeros, we're going to look at is going to be 0 or plus or minus five-thirds. And that's how you find the zeros of the function. Yes?